should say you are sorry. When was the last time you you felt guilty for something that you did? Maybe you make you make a mistake hurt that hurt someone, or maybe you chose to do wrong things out of anger or selfishness. Either way, the simple words "I'm sorry" can help you and the other person feel better. It's not always easy to ad- admit you did wrong. In the short time, it can be painful, but you can't learn from your mistake without uh, admitting that. Apologizing is a key part of personal growth. Apologizing is also important for relationships. Refusing to apologize can break teams apart, end friendship, and create tension within families. But when you apologize, the other per uh, the other person knows that you understand their feelings. It help heal. It help heal hurt. You may fear that apologizing makes you look weak, but actually it shows that you have the chance to put the other person before yourself. In fact, after apologizing, you may become closer to your friends than before. But even after you decide to apologize, you may you may not. Be sure how to do it. Here are some tips. Don't put off your apologizing. Say you are sorry as soon as you realize you realize you should. Apolog- apolog- apologize in personal if possible. Shows that you feel remorse and understand how how the other person feels. For example, you could say, "I'm sorry that I was late for our meeting. I sh- I should I should have kept kept track of time better." Or, "I'm sorry that I yelled at you. I feel <coughs> terrible for embarrassing you like that." Don't make excuse or imply that the other person is a problem. So instead of say, "I'm sorry," you feel upset about what I said. Say, "I'm sorry for my hurtful com- comments." Commit to changing your behavior. Don't keep doing what you apologized for. If you do, the the other person may doubt that you are truly sorry. Apologies can be hard, but they are necessary for healthy relationships. Oh.